All right, I'm back. We got some great notion in collaboration with Mirage. This one's called a 10 minute set. And it looks like it's a West Coast style IPA brewed with fresh Cascade hops from B&D Farms and dry hopped with flash frozen fresh Cascade cryo hops. So Mirage, great notion. Uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, seven, coming in at 7% right here. Let's see, I think that's about all they're gonna give us. Looks like we just got a uh, mossy forest background there. Uh, very, very green, probably damp, deep in the forest, deep in the woods. Let's go ahead and pour this thing. We got ourselves a stemmed Great Notion glass here that we're going to use. Looking good, looking good. All right. Ooh, the nose is jumping off of this one. I can smell it from here. That is beautiful. All right. So, on this side, it's kind of a, a bright orange color. Not too shabby. A lot of pine coming off of this one. A little bit of citrus, but a lot of pine. And the citrus is even more like grapefruit than it is orange. Very, very zingy, uh, pithy, um, sharp. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Holy shit. That is pretty fucking good. That first round right there, that has some fucking bitterness to it that I haven't had in a while. Oh yeah. That is beautiful fucking Cascade hops. Okay. Yeah, that is really good. A lot. A lot of pine. Uh, this is like a pine box uh, that you're about to be buried in. <laughs> this is a, a lot of pine. Not much else. I mean, it has it has like a mellow malt body. Definitely all the hops though. The hops are the star of this one. The malt body is in the background. It's letting the hop shine. It's like a clean palette. This is what I would call like a um, new school West Coast IPA. Very, very good. Let's get into the shave here. Okay. Today, we're going to be using brand new release from Noble Otter Soap Company. This one's called Logbook. And I like their uh, newer um, updated label design. They said they wanted to show more facets of the otter. And I think they're doing a great job of it. You can see we have like um, the otter in his pilot uniform. He's got the captain's hat on. Uh, you can see like a runway with the watchtower and a plane in the sky. Very beautiful sky too with the different um, hues of um, color back there. Uh, looks like they're by some water perhaps. We got the wind sock. What else do we got down here? Aviator watch compass we got the bird we got the little uh the actual log book in the breast pocket there made in the usa wonderful label of course we got all of this um colors that pop in the foil very very nice labels noble otter just knows how to do it and they do it right um, and the side label is much the same we got the scent notes right there on the side we got the ingredients right there on the side I believe that's the ingredients, yes, the ingredients, and then uh, actually they have a warning and um, advice on how to load and make a lather. Really good stuff right there. It has all the essentials. Um, I am CDB. Chris Bailey would be proud. <laughs> okay, so here's the soap here. We got a very smooth, clean pour. 
it is a firm soap if you can see the white on my nail very firm soap um, not so firm you can't push into it with a good amount of pressure but it is firm and so a little bit goes a long way keep that in mind when you're loading up I do have the lather already whipped up this is my Lancaster razor work shave bowl a staple of my daily shaves we got our Trotter Handcrafts brush right here. There's a good look at the lather. I believe this is their version 3, their V3 soap base. There's a closer look at the Trotter brush. Beautiful blue, black, and smoky gray. On top we got a T1 um, Badger Knot from Trotter, obviously. Let's go ahead and wet the face and get right into this shave. Hope everybody's doing well. I had a a bit of a rough Monday, but we got through it. And um, I've been really looking forward to the shave. I had a busy weekend. Um, my uncle came in visiting, and he's gonna be here a while, but um, I wanted to hang out with him right away. And so I spent some time with my uncle um, Saturday and Sunday. And then my little brother had his third child on Saturday, so that was fucking exciting as well. So it was just a it was just a busy, uh, exciting weekend. And um, so, anyways, I didn't get a shave in over the weekend, but I was looking forward to it. I had this uh, log book sitting on my bathroom counter with the jar open, so that the fragrance could kind of lightly scent the. Uh, bathroom here. This one is what Noble Otter describes as a woody fougere and I think it is a wonderful scent. I think if you are a fan of woody scents you'll probably absolutely love this one. If you are a fan of fougeres you'll probably enjoy this one as well and the only reason I say probably is because I feel like it is woods heavy. I feel like it's more woods than fougere in my opinion. And that goes from off the off the puck to also once it's lathered, I still feel like the the woody notes kind of take the forefront on this one. It has a strong woody base. Um but very very enjoyable in my opinion. It is about a five or six scent strength so definitely bold and banging it, it has um, it has power it's pretty much there at all times at this point so nothing to complain about whatsoever when it comes to scent strength very very nice okay let's go ahead and introduce the razor for today we are going to be using the Irving Barber Company Chevette right here. And the blade that we got loaded up into it is a Feather Professional Super Blade. No, scratch that. It's a Kai. It's a Kai blade. <clears throat> yes, yes, it's a Kai blade. Sorry about that. I had to remember. So let's get right into this. The Kai Artist Club in the Irving Barber Company Chevette. So, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the IBC Chevette, but it is one of the better options I've seen for versatility in a Chevette thus far. The way that the um, the shank right here is designed, um, it, it really does well holding a host of different blades. You could use DE blades or SE blades. So double edge safety blades, you could snap it in half and load it in there. Um, you could use Schick injector blades. You can use Artist Club blades in there. 
very, very, very versatile. And because it, it accommodates all those blade types, the variety of what you could realistically use in this razor is pretty crazy. A lot, a lot of options and a lot, a lot of uh, exploration and trial if you're into that sort of thing. If not, you could probably just take your favorite blade from another format, pop it into this, and you're probably going to do all right. I'm not super familiar with the Kai blades. I've used them before, uh, but not a lot, if I'm honest. It's feeling good, though. <clears throat> Go ahead and squeegee that off of there. Multiple days growth. Gross. Um, so, scent notes. Let's talk scent notes. Well, actually, let's go from the start. The soap was 20 bucks, $20 for four ounces. It is a tallow soap. I think it's the V3 um, Noble Otter Vase, which at this time is his most current up-to-date uh, soap formula. Scent notes. Bergamot, orange, black pepper. I assume those are all top notes. Um, nutmeg, cedarwood, patchouli, probably the mid notes, and then amber, leather, um, amber, leather are probably on the bottom. Elemi is probably also on the top, and moss is probably in the heart. I'm just guessing they didn't have them, they didn't have them layered like that, I'm just guessing. <clears throat> it definitely comes across woody in my opinion as soon as i opened it i was like yep it's woody all right i didn't i didn't immediately think that's a woody fujer it's not what came to mind but i was like oh yeah that's woody that definitely came across uh pretty easily It looks like it's about time, almost time, for a haircut. I think my buddy Lee Hazley would say that I'm approaching proto-hobo status <laughs> with my uh, with my hair growing out. It's about time for me to get a haircut. Definitely haven't been using the old Chevette that often. I need to make sure I keep it in the rotation. Keep my Chevette skills sharp. No pun intended. <clears throat> so pass one went very well. Um, Noble Otter's a fantastic base. I mean, it has... It has a, a large ingredient list, like you saw, but it's really just a workhorse. It's a dependable soap base. Um, a very respectable company from pretty much all facets. The only thing that you could possibly bitch about is they don't release things very often. They, Them and Moon Soaps are kind of in the same realm where it's like, we're going to release top tier quality, but we're not going to do it that often. It's just like... A few times a year, you know, you'll get really good quality shit from them. Um, and that goes for all facets. Design, soap base, um, everything. Really clean, uh, humble marketing as well. They, the big thumbs up. Noble Otter's good shit. Alright. Back to the tub. Or not to the tub, the bowl. <clears throat> Plenty of lather left. Like I said, no need to load heavy. It's a hard puck and a little bit goes a long way. This one, at least the lather that I made today, it does have a bit more volume to it than some of its modern day competitors. I wouldn't say the Noble Otter V3 is like a super low structure. It does have some structure to it. 
it still it still carries a nice density um, but I would say it's probably not as low structure and not as dense as some of its uh, modern day competitors but you're really not lacking anything you got all the slickness original and residual you got a good post shave feel the only reason I can say that even though I'm not done with the shave is because I've used this base before and it does have density it's not without density excuse me um, so yeah really good stuff I would not hesitate to buy it or recommend it very nice tie blades feeling good even against the grain here Always got to pay attention to that beard line. The details. Very, very nice. So, for me, I don't, I don't necessarily get like bright citrus on top I know it has bergamot and orange and enemy I don't really get a bright citrus I feel like that is I mean it's there there it's definitely brighter on the top but it's like it's kind of got like this warm woods dry a little bit dry and then there is fougere elements like you'll catch a whiff of something uh, green and mossy from time to time but it's not it's definitely not doing like a tug of war for the main stage the woody the woody element is the the main part to a lesser extent there is an element of green like a green you know mossy earthy and then on top of that is definitely the black pepper and citruses but those are also like at the tippy top not really not really a main factor in this one <clears throat> all right go ahead and squeegee that off um, so I know this video is probably going to go a tad long, but I did want to do a giveaway. I haven't been doing videos as much as I used to for various reasons, but I still have experienced some growth on my channel. And it seems like the regulars are sticking around. Looks like we got a weeper right there. No blemish. Just a little weeper. Perhaps a little bit too much pressure on my part. Who knows? Wrong angle perhaps. I don't know. Um, but a giveaway. So I have this TRC razor. this razor company safety razor and once I get my hands cleared I'll go ahead and show you guys but um, it was sent to me free from the razor company I tried it I let my buddy borrow it shared the love a little bit and um, the razors the razors just not for me it uh, it wasn't to my liking. I know others, uh, especially Marion the Barbarian. Man, he really took <laughs> he really took a liking to this one. But um, you know, it 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 wasn't really for me. I haven't had um, the best luck with these type razors. I want to say these type razors 
because I feel like it kind of fits into a group of double-edged safety razors that I haven't had a a ton of love for. But uh, it is a good razor. It, it gave me multiple good shaves. It just isn't my favorite. And I don't see myself using it that often. So I will pass it on via a giveaway. Let me go ahead and rinse off and I'll show you guys real quick. I think if you, uh, you want to enter the giveaway, go ahead and put the, let's just do a hashtag because those are always easy. So perhaps just hashtag TRC. I think that will, that will work. And, um, Oh, just one, you know, one comment each had with a hashtag TRC in it. And that should that should suffice. Um, and then I'll do a giveaway. I'll give it about a week. Um, cut me some slack if I'm not dead on because I haven't been doing videos. Um, haven't been doing videos like in any regular consistency. So cut me some slack on that week thing, but it'll be about a week. And then I'll ship it out as soon as I can to the winner. <clears throat> Rinse off with the Lancaster towel. Well, I just wanted to get a giveaway in. It's been been a little while since my last one, but I definitely I definitely thank everybody and appreciate everybody who's uh, stuck it out on my channel. Long time subscribers and new subscribers, subscribers alike. I appreciate all of you, especially the ones that um, comment and interact with me. I appreciate you guys. There's been a, a lot of new people commenting and I've been really enjoying get to knowing, getting to know everyone. All right, so. This right here is that uh, TRC razor. It's kind of like in a uh, matte black finish. Of course, we got the uh, the top cap there. Not for everybody, but <clears throat> the lather channels are fucking massive. Um, nice three-piece DE razor. It's given me multiple good shaves. It will come in the original packaging. And uh, that'll be up for giveaway. Hashtag TRC. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of this aftershave splash before we let you guys go. Um, four ounce splash, very nice labels as expected. Ooh. There we go. Looks like this is an alcohol aftershave. We'll give it a good shake. We got the industry standard quality restrictor right there. Go ahead and get a nice handful. A little bit of stinging on that weeper that I had on my cheek. Very mild sting on the neck. But a, all in all, a really nice shave. This weeper is persistent. Might have to hit it with uh, some alum afterwards. It's not like I dug in and it's not very deep yeah, I'm just a bleeder today anyhow thank you guys for watching I appreciate you fragrance is a little bit different a little bit more cologne like I think a little bit more of the green notes more of the fougere notes come out in the aftershave cheers guys I appreciate you hope you enjoyed the video Sorry it went on so long. Don't forget, hashtag TRC for the giveaway, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.